it's friday it's larry welcoming you to the really really knowing god channel i'm bringing you vital enrichment in the knowledge of god yes it's all powered by the pastor larry adene center for inspiration the place This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gem soon upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're shining truth this morning on God's money can finish. Yes, it does finish. And that's coming from Luke chapter 16, 1 through 4. Let us pray together and right after we dive into it. Father God, we bless your name. We bless your name. We worship you. We magnify and exalt you, God. You are good. Your mercy send you forever. I thank you for the night rest. Thank you for the freshing that we have this morning. Take all the praise in the name of Jesus. Christ we know you are here according to your promise Lord God help us that we position ourselves to receive that help from you properly thank you Lord in Jesus his holy name we ask it amen hallelujah all right uh, Luke 16 1 and Jesus said to his disciples there was a certain rich man who had a steward and an accusation was brought to him that this man was wasting his goods so he called him and said to him what is this I hear about you give an account of your stewardship for you can no longer be a steward then the steward said within him, said, what shall I do? For my master is taking away the stewardship from me. I cannot dig. I'm ashamed to beg. I have resolved what to do when I'm put out of uh, my stewardship that they may receive me into their houses. So, uh, now, we're talking about stewardship here. Now, this stewardship is a stewardship of money and materials. Let us look at this steward and look for a title for him. Um, controller, controller of finance and goods controller of finance and materials controller of finance and uh, supplies whatever something like that okay so that was this man so it was actually the stewardship was about finance about materials about goods about supply about uh, yeah things like that that was what they wanted to take from him because he was wasting the goods of the mat of the master in other words the money and the goods the money and the merchandise the money and the supplies the money and the uh, and the material and the commodities you know and all that so that was what he was wasting that's what he said he was wasting he was squandering he was uh yeah he was mismanaging all that thing and so the man called him to order now the first thing we learn from here is that we also as the stewards of god that is the way we get to a place where we squander god's money we spend god's money in a non-judicious manner yeah it happens to uh, some of us who are ministers particularly really big ones um uh, just profligate in terms of uh, the you know spending these monies that God has provided because in ministry the money actually belongs to God okay uh, but then because you are the CEO you are the what else do they call us now general overseer general superintendent uh, presiding pastor presiding bishop uh, pastor general you know all kinds of names but you are the chief executive now because of that and you are you are um the last man you are the person that has a financing when it comes to finance and things like that you now do use the finance anyhow i mean um some minister apart from his executive assistant and his domestic domestic assistants i've seen my, you know some of us who have also uh, image assistance that assistant is just to make sure that you know works upon his image i've seen people who have wardrobe assistance you know it's just to make sure talk about his dressing you know to buy the clothes he's going to wear and to make sure that he wears them well and all the, all these things actually happen you know and um, some other ones um travel sunday evening and then come back on tuesday because you see they got to do the midweek meeting as well so you see they go on sunday and come back on because the money is available yeah the money is available you can use the money for this and for that and then you know just not managing money well squandering the money squandering god's money and so the man called this person and said you have to give an account it is good for us to know that we will give an account of these things it's not only an account of the souls over which we are over who we are because the bible says we're going to give an account of them in the book of hebrews we remember we said that not only the, an account of the doctrine you are teaching to be sure that you are you are feeding the people you are giving them food to eat like a servant like we read you know the other time also in this book of luke that's you're going to account for 
the uh, looking after the sheep you are going to account for, um, giving them food in the proper you are going to account for, the kind of doctrine you are teaching, whether you are giving them uh, hay and dry thing and corn cobs, rather than proper rich uh, fodder for the people of God, you are going to give an account of that. But also we are going to give an account of what we did with God's money. We are going to give an account of it. That's what we learned from. That's what Jesus was trying to teach, teach us there. We are going to give an account of God's money. And that is why it is important for us to be careful the way we handle God's money. And um, he says that it was going to be taken from him. Yes, God actually does take away that stewardship from people. And how does God take it from people? You just find out that that money, though it is God's money, it just begins to fizzle out. It begins to reduce until it finishes. It's God's money, but believe me, it can finish in your hand. That's the truth about the matter. It really can finish. And we have examples. You just find out that the crowds that were bringing the money, they are simply turning their attention elsewhere. Some other person will just arrive from somewhere and people's attention will turn to that direction. I can talk. As I'm, as I'm talking, I, I, I have in mind and I'm picturing some people who were pretty flamboyant, you know, uh, 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 ministers of God. And they, they, they ran programs, they did all kinds of things in pretty flamboyant ways. And today, they are still alive. But it's all fizzled out. That money, God's money, has finished. Yes, it does finish in the hands of ministers. And I'm saying this to some, maybe to some young minister or somebody, even a minister of my age, who thinks, who needs to repent at this point in time. It can finish. It's not for you to think that there's nothing like that. I have invested it. I have done this. I have done that. Believe me, it can, God, all you would just, attention will just turn elsewhere. And you find that money going. If you think, <laughs> as I'm talking, I have names and pictures at the back of my mind of people that we all knew before in this place and then you don't hear them about them anymore at all because though it's God's money, it finished. And it is, you know, because people can be set aside. You know what he said that, he says, uh, um, uh, where is it now? You, you give an account. Then the man said with it to himself, what am I, the master is taking the stewardship away from me, you know. Uh, I, I, when I'm put out of the stewardship, I found out that this word put out here is the Greek equivalent of the Hebrew word for where David asked Ahimaaz to stand aside. Just was it not just two days ago we spoke about stand aside? Is the the, 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 the Greek word here is the Hebrew the same word? You know, so there's a standing aside that God can can arrange. It can be put out. It can stay stand aside. It's really, really possible. You know, and actually it does happen. And that's why we must remember that we must handle these monies and these materials properly. Apart from doctrine, apart from care of the people, God's money too, we will account for it. So when we squander the money and, you know, ride around in first class and, and travel on Sunday, every Sunday even, and come back on Tuesday so that we could do the Wednesday meeting and things we are just we will give account of some of these things okay and now this man went on the steward said with himself what shall i do he says i cannot dig and i'm ashamed to beg what's the meaning of i cannot dig you know the, the work of managing finance and materials is pure brain work so he's saying that um, there's going to be a transition from from brain to brawn and I cannot, I cannot bear that kind of transition. For us, it's going to be like a transition from being a CEO, man of God, dependent, I mean, using completely the money that God has provided, to maybe working under somebody. Now, ah, I cannot, I cannot bear. If you cannot bear that, then change now. Then the other one, he says, I'm ashamed to beg. What's the equivalent of begging to us? Uh, me who used to boast and brag about, you know, you know, the kind of monies we have. I cannot go down now to beginning to appeal. That's what is, that's the difference. And that's what, that's the way it applies to our own case. Well, if you know that you cannot do that, then change. Don't go on squandering, wasting these monies. Because you see, there are other people who are praying to have this one of a hundred of what you have and they'll use it better. Praise God. So, be, you know, then repent. If you know that you cannot, you know, drop from being a uh, CEO of a spiritual thing to go and walk under somebody, then change. If you know that you cannot... Uh, 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 change from this you're bragging and boasting to appealing 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 you know then change praise the lord that's that's what we're learning and finally let me also address those of us who are not ministers this thing does not apply to ministers alone even those of us who are not ministers the monies that god provides for you you will still give an account of it you will you really will so even though the money is all yours quote unquote 
It's God who provided it. And you cannot squander. You cannot be profligate. You know, even with the money, even though you have it so plenty, you will still give an account of it before God. Therefore, it is important for you also to spend the money judiciously. Even though it is not being contributed by people, you know, like it, you know, like it with some of us ministers, it is still God's money in your hand. And when you manage it well, then God will bring more to you. But when you don't manage it well, the same thing that applies to these people is going to fizzle out. You know, and that's why we should learn a big lesson from this of um, Luke 16, 1 to 4, and conduct our lives accordingly. Thank you very much for sharing time with us. For you from people, it's weekend already, and I wish you a fantastic one ahead. Bless you.